It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking sales tax as it relates to a percent of increase. Here's our question today. A student bought a computer game that cost Q dollars. The student paid 6% sales tax on the cost of the computer game. Which of the following expressions can be used to represent the total amount in dollars that the student paid for the computer game? and we're asked to select the two correct answers. So we have six answer choices, and we're going to pick two that represent the total amount the student paid for the computer game. Here's where you pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So we're going to find the total amount that the student paid for the computer game, including the sales tax. So we are going to find two expressions that represent that. So let's begin by understanding that the computer game cost Q dollars. So we have a computer game and we're going to add to it the sales tax. So we're going to pay for a computer game plus the sales tax. We're told that the computer game is going to be represented by this unknown amount Q. So we don't know exactly how much it costs. We're going to use the variable Q to represent that. And to that, we need to pay 6% of Q, because sales tax is a percent of your value of your item that you purchase. So we're going to buy the whole of this, then we're going to pay 6% of that value in sales tax. All right, so now let's rewrite this mathematically. So we're going to keep our variable, and we're going to add to it. 6% when we write it in an algebraic expression, we need to convert to a decimal. You could do it to a fraction too, but I'm going to use a decimal because these are all in decimal. So we're going to remove the percent symbol and move the decimal point two spaces to the left, which gives us 0 0.06 or 6 hundredths, 6 one hundredths. And then of in math, we're going to multiply by Q. So we're going to pay the entire price of the computer game and 6% of the computer game. So when we look over, I can see that that matches the expression in answer choice E. So as I'm evaluating my other five answer choices, I can see that we definitely can't add here. They forgot the Q. So we're not going to add just 0 0.06. That's adding six cents to that. So the sales tax isn't six cents, it's 6% of Q. And we're not gonna subtract six cents to get our value, and we're not gonna subtract our 6%. So we know now that it has to be A or B is our second choice. So what I can see here is there's only one term. When I look back at my expression, I can see that these are like terms. They both have a variable Q. Seeing as they have the same variable with the same exponent, I can add the coefficients and combine like terms. The coefficient of Q, remember there's an invisible one there. So one add six hundredths would be one and six hundredths Q, which is answer choice B. So our two correct answers are B and E. We're gonna pay 106% of the computer game. 100% of the computer game plus 6% sales tax, percent of increase. Or you could look at it as the whole computer plus 6% of the computer. And there you have it. That is sales tax as we consider percent of increase adding on to.